Hi, so in this particular video we've got these, um, these two uh, expressions here equal to one another and they're asking us to make R the subject of this particular formula. So it looks a little bit tricky because actually you've got a value of R here and you've got a value of R here. So we need to find a way to make R the subject. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if I cross multiply these together I get 8n multiplied by r plus s equals 8s multiplied by r minus s. Okay, I hope that's okay for you at that particular point. And then it's going to be a case of multiplying these out. So if I multiply 8n by r, I get 8nr. And then multiply 8n by s, and I get plus 8ns. And that equals the same as 8s times r, and then minus 8, and it's s times s, which is the same as saying s squared. Okay, now it still looks a little bit overly complicated, but it will kind of work itself out. And bearing in mind, the actual terms that we're interested in are gonna be this one and this one. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I get uh, the two terms that contain the value of r on one side of the equation and then everything else on the, right, on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this value over to here and I'm going to take this value over to here. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because if I take the 8s squared, this one here over to the left hand side, it means this negative becomes a positive. So I end up with on this side 8s squared plus 8ns and then I'm going to take this 8nr and I'm going to move it over to this side. So I'm going to get 8sr, which is the same as the one above it. Sorry about my writing, sr. And then I'm going to minus 8nr, which is this value over here. Okay, when I've done that, it allows me then to factorise for the value of r. So I could rewrite this side of the equation as r times 8s minus 8n. Okay, and that's going to equal to 8s squared plus 8ns. There's an awful lot of 8s knocking around in this particular um, question. Okay, so now I've got this um, factorised value of r, and it means then that if I divide both sides by 8s minus 8n, it means that I'll be left with R on its own. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8s minus 8n. Now if I do that, on the right hand side I get R because these two will effectively cancel themselves out. And on the left hand side I can write that as 8s squared plus 8ns divided by 8s minus 8 n and that's equal to the value of r. Oh my goodness, what an awful question that particular one is. Um, but I hope that's okay for you. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time just to work through. It's roughly aimed at about level six at GCSE. Um, please do add a comment below if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.